The James Webb Telescope has uncovered the clearest image of Proxima b in history, revealing dazzling pieces of information about a potentially habitable exoplanet. It guides us as we embark on a journey through space to uncover the secrets of Proxima b and determine whether it could be the next Earth. Let's take off into the vast expanse of space, where a mysterious planet exists in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri. This planet isn't just any ordinary rocky world. Proxima b is located a mere 4.2 light-years from us, shrouded in secrets and wonders. The mystery doesn't stop there. Proxima Centauri emits nearly the same amount of energy to Proxima b as the Sun does to Earth. Could this mean there is water on its surface and maybe even life? As we explore beyond our own solar system, we encounter an entirely new universe of exoplanets. Planets that orbit stars other than the Sun. With 200 billion stars in the galaxy, the opportunities for exoplanets are endless. Some even drift freely, untethered to any star, like wandering voyagers in space. Among them all, Proxima Centauri b stands out as a particularly striking and captivating planet. Its year lasts just 112 Earth days, and it orbits much closer to its star than Earth does to the Sun. One side of the planet is constantly bathed in sunlight, while the opposite side remains in perpetual darkness. Now, let's examine Proxima Centauri the star that Proxima b orbits. Proxima Centauri is part of the Alpha Centauri triple star system. This system includes Rigel Centaurus, also known as Alpha Centauri A, and Alpha Centauri B. Together, these stars form the closest star system to our solar system. Alpha Centauri A and B form a binary system, appearing as one bright star in the Centaurus constellation and ranking as the third brightest star in our night sky, with a peak luminosity of just under 2.7. Proxima Centauri, also called Alpha Centauri C, is a red dwarf, or M-type star, located 21 light-years from the other two stars more than 10,000 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. It is the closest star to us. In fact, Proxima means, nearest, in Latin. It was discovered in 1915 by Scottish astronomer Robert Thorburn. Despite being our closest celestial neighbor, Proxima Centauri is not visible to the naked eye. With an apparent magnitude of 11.13 much fainter than the human eye's visibility limit of 6.5 it remains hidden. However, don't let that fool you. Proxima Centauri is still a star worth studying. Red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri are among the most efficient energy producers. They may not emit much energy, but their internal convection processes allow them to shine for trillions of years. In fact, Proxima Centauri will remain a main sequence star for another 4 trillion years. Yet, the habitability of a red dwarf star like Proxima Centauri is still debated. For one, it is a flare star, meaning it experiences frequent and intense bursts of radiation. As a low-mass star, its habitable zone is much closer than the Sun's, estimated to be between 0.23 and 54 cents. But it's not as habitable as it might seem. Proxima b is bombarded with intense ultraviolet radiation from its star far stronger than the radiation we receive from our sun. This radiation is so extreme that even the lightest hydrogen particles are stripped away, along with nitrogen and oxygen. But that's not all. Just because a planet is the right distance from its star doesn't mean it can support life. Proxima b may not have a stable atmosphere, which is crucial for regulating temperature and maintaining a water-friendly surface. Without it, living organisms would be vulnerable to harsh space weather, making life nearly impossible. So, while Proxima b may appear Earth-like on the surface, it is far from being able to support life. Scientists remain cautious, as many factors render it inhospitable. The mission to uncover the truth about Proxima b continues, though some still hold hope. One tool that has captured the attention of astronomers is the James Webb Space Telescope. After years of anticipation, the telescope was finally launched in 2018 and will help determine whether there is life on Proxima b. However, as with everything in science, things are never as simple as they seem. Some adjustments were necessary to ensure that the James Webb Telescope delivers accurate images. As Avi Loeb, a theoretical physicist at Harvard, explains, if a planet like Proxima b can absorb light from its star, it can also emit it as infrared light. 
The James Webb Telescope was specifically designed to detect infrared light. It can capture images of this light from the planet's surface and search for patterns that could confirm the presence of water or an atmosphere. Planet has an atmosphere that isn't conducive to life. The presence of an atmosphere does not guarantee the presence of life, warns Ed Turner, an astrophysicist at Princeton University. Proxima b could be more like Venus, with a thick atmosphere far denser than Earth's and extreme temperatures that would make life impossible. The journey to unravel the mysteries of Proxima b is not without its challenges. While the James Webb Telescope holds promise, there are other factors to consider. With costs mounting, Space scientists are under pressure to find new ways to observe planets like Proxima b. The stakes are high, but the potential rewards are even greater. The chance to explore the unknown and uncover the secrets of a distant planet that might harbor life is a pursuit worth undertaking. If the exoplanet were habitable, could we one day visit? It's the closest exoplanet to us, which makes it all the more fascinating, almost like exploring our own backyard. Even more exciting is that it's nearly the same size as Earth, and its position in the habitable zone suggests it could indeed have conditions suitable for life. Proxima b's nearness likewise makes it an ideal objective in our journey for life beyond Earth. With it being so close, it's a prime contender for interstellar missions. At any point, ponder exploring this Earth-like exoplanet. Despite the fact that we can't yet go there, it's surely on the radar for future missions. As technology advances, it is quite possibly one of the most thrilling undertakings in the field of space exploration. However, it's no simple task. It would take 75,000 years for a spacecraft like Voyager 2 to reach the Proxima Centauri system. Regardless, a solution has been proposed, solar sails. These ultra-thin sails could be used to propel a spacecraft to the Alpha Centauri system and Proxima be along with it. This technology utilizes solar pressure to keep the spacecraft on course, eliminating the issue of running out of fuel. And here's something even cooler. This state-of-the-art technology could provide insights into the possibility of life on other planets like Proxima b. However, like any ambitious project, there are limitations. For example, the presence of an atmosphere doesn't necessarily guarantee life. Proxima b could be like Venus with a thick, hot atmosphere that is inhospitable. Moreover, get this the James Webb Telescope can detect such emissions if they reach a brightness of just 5% of the daytime side. Now, 5% may not seem like much, but when dealing with a star that is generally dimmer than our sun, it's quite significant. If Proxima hosts advanced civilizations, they might use bright orbital mirrors to reflect sunlight from the daytime side to the nighttime side. One type of exoplanet that has caught the attention of space scientists is the gas giant. These planets are similar in composition to Jupiter and Saturn, but are much larger. Some of these behemoths have been named Super Jupiters, surpassing even the largest planet in our solar system. But that's not all. There are also hot Jupiter's gas giants that orbit very close to their host stars, existing in a scorching world with temperatures that could melt metal. Imagine seeing such a planet up close, with its raging storms and extreme heat. In addition to gas giants, there are also Neptunian exoplanets, which are similar in size to Uranus and Neptune. Among these are hot Neptunes and mini-Neptunes, which are smaller and closer to their host stars than their gas giant cousins. These planets are often shrouded in mystery, with their atmospheres being difficult to study from a distance. And let's not forget the Earth-like exoplanets, which resemble our own Earth. These planets come in various sizes, ranging from smaller than our planet to twice its size. There are even super-Earths, which have masses over twice that of our planet but are lighter than Neptune. One of the most captivating exoplanets recently discovered is Proxima Centauri b, which orbits the star of the same name. This planet is classified as a super-Earth, with an estimated mass of seven Earth masses. Although it is a relatively small exoplanet, it has sparked significant interest among astronomers and scientists due to its potential for habitability. Because of its position in the habitable zone of its star, there is a possibility that it could support liquid water on its surface, making it an excellent candidate for life. As the journey for life beyond Earth continues, Proxima Centauri b remains one of the most promising objectives in the search for habitable exoplanets. Its proximity, 
size, and position within the habitable zone of its star make it an intriguing subject of study for astronomers. While the James Webb Space Telescope offers a new avenue to study Proxima b in greater detail, it isn't the only tool available to scientists. Ground-based observatories and cutting-edge telescopes such as the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, under construction in Chile, are also being developed to observe distant exoplanets in more detail. These massive telescopes will allow astronomers to study the atmospheres of exoplanets, including Proxima b, and search for signs of habitability or even life. Once completed, the ELT will have the capability to directly image planets orbiting other stars and detect the faint signatures of gases that could indicate biological processes. Yet, even with the best technology at our disposal, the challenges remain immense. Proxima b, like many exoplanets, is located incredibly far from Earth. Even with advanced telescopes, capturing definitive signs of life will require patience and persistence. Detecting a planet's atmosphere is already a monumental task. Scientists must be able to distinguish the light emitted by the planet itself from the light of its star, which can easily overshadow the planet's faint glow. Moreover, the presence of life if detected is still far from confirming its existence. Scientists need to search for specific biomarkers, chemical signatures that could indicate the presence of living organisms, such as oxygen, methane, or other gases that might be produced by biological processes.